I'm Krista Haskins. I manage electronic discovery and ESI support for Becton Dickinson. The reason that we brought Xtero in-house was we first recognized that we had to get a handle on our legal hold obligations. That's the starting point for any successful e-discovery program in my mind. You don't know what you need to preserve, you don't know what you need to collect until you know what data source is custodial and non-custodial or subject to legal hold. We decided that we were going to leverage the Xtero in place preservation capabilities. Now we knew what was on hold, how do we preserve it? We were able to link our custodial and non-custodial data sources with the tool so that we could apply them in place and not have to go out and collect data unnecessarily because as anyone in this industry understands, you cast a wide net with respect to preservation, but you ultimately don't need all of that data to respond to discovery. In-place preservation is a spectacular feature because as I mentioned, it allows for us to preserve in place and so we don't have to unnecessarily collect data. There's a lot of risk in over collecting data to meet preservation obligations. I would strongly recommend Xtero to any other organization and I would consider them for future, um, future projects if I went someplace else.